Happened. Some infected attacked us. Tore our windmill apart. All our UVs are down. I'm not sure how I can help. If we don't get our lamps back on, we won't survive the night. All right, I'll do what I can.
Sophie, I'm inside. There's no sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. Hurry. Sophie, it's Aiden. I found a radio. And a body. Male. White, bald man. I'm sorry, Sophie. That's not Barney. That's Kojak. One of ours. Barney can't be far. Sophie, I found blood. It's fresh. Hurry, Aiden. supposed to do. Barney? Are you? Who the fuck are you? A Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You will get them. Barney, open up. Fuck off. Sophie, 
found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. A stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Barney! Come back to where you came from! Come out, or I'll drag you out myself. Oh yeah? I'd like to see you try, dipshit! You think you're the first person to threaten me? Don't you know who I am? Barney, I'll count to three. One, two, three. Go the fuck away! You ain't getting a thing from me! Fuck shit! Great. some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn, but she didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised this old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you, got it? Hurry!
Blood. Must be birdies. Trash should lead me to him. <sighs> Not yet. He was bleeding badly. I'm following the trail. Who are you? A maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? Yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen, it's my birthday today, uh, and can I ask a favor? You see, uh, over there, my radio, I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta, hello? Mom. <coughs> you there? Mom? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got them. The crystals. We got them. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the 
hell out and get back here safe. Barney promised. Sure. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Just arrived. He... what? He was supposed to... I didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. things, Naira. Because you don't understand me. No one understands me. And what I'm doing is the essence of survival. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? Well, you got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fuckward Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? From what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me and my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. Ah, 
Not again, you piece of... Think you're in pain now? Keep talking. Oh, oh nice. Handy and clever Veronica. I hear she's seeing a peacekeeper. Her parents are gonna flip. What are you up to these days, Aiden? Hey, you. Yeah, you. Looking for work, by any chance? We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. <clears throat> Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Uh, interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? Those crystals. What's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of the city. A byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does, but there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys? That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? <coughs> Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mine the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. Yeah, you. Looking for work? 
for work by any chance? Haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade of the center. bandits oh, and a lot of bodies sophie i'm sorry i knew it i knew those motherfuckers would betray us fuck them aiden kill them all survivors. Fucking animals. Find the crystals. Susie had them. <laughs> Susie? Carl. They, they took Carl. What? Where? their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First Birdie, now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. Fuck! Fuck! What? The goon! Huge, ugly motherfucker! Stay slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. <sighs>
Sophie, everything's been taken. Probably took him before you got there. Everything has gone wrong. Yeah. All right. Enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp off the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. Aiden, how's it going? You alive, man? Fuck, I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? They took Carl hostage. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious. But if you can do it, Ato will let us into the center. Where's Sophie? <coughs> hey, why were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. <clears throat> oh, okay. Well, I guess that means I should wait here. Huh? Inhibitor container. 
Murder detected. <clears throat> Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. He's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard, has been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, he's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me or I'm watching over him. Don't beat yourself up. Things could have been worse, too. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water and more of our people would still be alive. You were just doing your job. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah. But I won't let him lead the bazaar to its doom. I see. All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass, but we'll do something good for the city one day. Bertie, to your health! If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Messrs. Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie... They deserve revenge, and Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Hey, Tor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. 